Hello, Buff fans. Welcome to this week's installment of the WT Coaches Show. I'm your host, Kale Steed. We have head football coach Don Carthel in studio with us today after a big homecoming win. You grinded it out. It was a score we didn't expect, but you got it done. We did. We played uh, really solid football. I think we took a page out of Pueblo's uh, playbook in terms of not beating ourselves, and that's, uh, that's about all I can say. We didn't play real good on offense, but we didn't turn it over, uh, didn't shoot ourselves in the foot like we had in the past, and defense and special teams were amazing. And just talk about the loss of penalties in the first half. Offense was uh, kind of sluggish a little bit. Any reason for that slow start? Who knows? It uh, could have been the homecoming dance. We've got to blame it on somebody. So uh, now <laughs> we just were out of sync. Uh, Kale, our uh, quarterback was off. He overthrew some. He underthrew some. Our receivers dropped some balls, and we didn't protect near as good as we have. So overall, uh, it wasn't as good a performance as what we're used to. But again, without any turnovers, uh, we was able to find a way to win. But another solid defense performance. I mean, they swarm all over the football, especially talk about DJ Ross a little bit. Every time I see that guy, he's, he's all over the quarterback. He, he's an ex uh, tailback out of high school, so he's really, really talented. He's very fast. Uh, he's got long arms and a uh, long stride, and he can get past those offensive tackles, you know, pretty fast. So uh, he's, he's just a, a fun guy to coach and uh, uh, does a good job on special teams for us also. And a win like that, is it when you go into the, uh, is that when you go in the locker room and tell Colby, thank you? <laughs> well, we thank the defense, we thank the coaches, <laughs> we thank the fans. I mean, it was an overall uh, great effort. And, and again, the offense uh, uh, ran the ball, uh, controlled the ball pretty good that second half and, and got in the end zone when they had to. All right. Don't go away. We will talk more about this week's important matchup against ACU after the break. The wind can run, but it can't hide. your high country Chevy dealers. Welcome back to the WT Sports Network. I'm Kale Steed. You were watching the WT Coaches Show with Coach Don Carthlin. Huge matchup. This is why you play football. This is why you play the games. you got rival ACU on the road at Shotwell on Saturday. It's going to be uh, a lot of fun. It always is. Uh, our guys, uh, our players know their players really well. Their players know ours. We've recruited the same athletes over the years, and uh, we've got a great deal of respect for uh, Chris Thompson and his uh, his coordinators, Cody Farrell, that used to be here, and uh, you know Kobe worked with those guys. So uh, they're they're really really good friends, really classy guys. They have a classy program, and uh, that's what makes it a good rivalry. It's going to be a fun battle. And it should be a huge crowd. They're expecting possibly a record crowd down there at uh, Shotwell this week. Well, that'll be a lot of fun. And you know if you're a Buff fan, you know the craziness that comes with this game. The scores, uh, you've been on the good side, you've been on the bad side a little bit. But uh, it's got to be a lot of fun both ways when you just, I guess, see it that. It is. I, I think we're 4-4 four and four over the last six years against uh, Abilene Christian, 3-3 uh, three and three in the uh, regular season and 1-1 one and one in the playoffs. So uh, it's, uh, it's always uh, tough to beat these guys. Uh, they're very physical. They're very athletic and extremely well coached. And I've been educated by you that film day is Monday, so I know you haven't gotten into the room as much, but did you get to see them at Cowboy Stadium? Or do you, you just know pretty much what they do? We did. We actually uh, got there. We couldn't get in the locker rooms because Midwestern was in our locker room and uh, the, 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 from the first ball game. So we watched the first uh, probably quarter and a half of the game against North Alabama. And uh, you know, I don't know that our, our minds were on them or on uh, Kingsville. Uh, you know, I'd like to think that we were concentrating on Kingsville and what we we're going to do, but forced to uh, sit out there and watch that ball game. But uh, it looked like two great teams with them in North Alabama. Thanks, Coach, and thanks for joining us. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter for all your Buffalo sports action. For the WT Sports Network, I'm your host, Gail Steve.